Russian occupiers fired on the residential area of Padil in Kyiv. The cruise missile was shot down, but its remains set fire to a house from the ground to the second floor. One person died and four were injured. The Russians are launching missile strikes on Lviv again. The city is situated in western Ukraine near the border with Poland. Several explosions were heard there this morning. The occupiers destroyed the buildings of the aircraft repair plant with their missiles. According to preliminary information, the Russians fired six cruise missiles from the Black Sea. Two missiles were destroyed by the Ukrainian military. There are no victims because the active operation of this plant was stopped in advance, said the city mayor Andriy Sadovy. The largest market in Eastern Europe has been burning for two days in a row. Yesterday, the Russian occupiers fired on the Barabashovo shopping center in the city of Kharkiv and a large-scale fire occurred. While firefighters tried to localize it, Russia's army struck again. Two rescuers were injured and one died. Seven hectares of land are still burning. Not only trade pavilions, but also nearby houses are on fire now. The occupiers did not stop at Barabashovo. Last night, educational institution in the city of Merefa, 30 kilometers from Kharkiv, was bombed. The building was destroyed. Russian occupiers continue to destroy Luhansk region. Enemy artillery destroyed 20 houses and infrastructure facilities in the cities of Severodonetsk and Rubizhna this night. The Russians are also shooting at civilians. Last night, two people died and four were wounded in Severodonetsk and two civilians were wounded in Rubizhna. There is a partial lack of water and gas in these cities. The enemy continues shelling and the number of casualties and destructions is growing. In several weeks, Luhansk region has lost 59 citizens in the war. 130 people were rescued from the rubble of the theater in Mariupol. However, another 1,300 residents may remain under the ruins, reported People's Deputy Serhii Taruta. Every day, 50 to 100 air bombs are dropped on Mariupol. On March the 16th, Russian military dropped a powerful air bomb on the building of Drama Theater in Mariupol. Civilians were seeking shelter there, women, children and the elderly. On the ground near the theater building, it was written in Russian in large letters, children. However, this did not stop the occupiers and they destroyed the theater. Fortunately, the bomb shelter survived and people are now being taken out of the rubble. The building itself was completely destroyed. The Italians offered to restore it, as Italian Minister of Culture Dario Franceschini wrote. The theater of every country belongs to the world. In response, President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky said that Italy is a good example to follow and that together with the world we will restore Ukraine. Russia attacks not only physically. It has been waging an information war against the world and peace for a long time. Zona свободной торговли с Европой это прямая сдача страны, её разорение. В подгузниках 44 человека, небритых, пьяных, с тем же самыми шевронами. Every day millions of people listen to and read the outright lies of Russian journalists about Nazis in Ukraine, bloodthirsty Europe and envious America. Самый неэффективный альянс, который можно себе только представить. Putin's propaganda stage fake news stories defacing the main rule of journalism. Honesty. Это первая из нашей страны колонна с гуманитарной помощью мирному населению Украины. Ребята, как будто надо, блядь, пожрать от оккупанта. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the amount of Russian propaganda has grown to 90% worldwide. Но в Украине гораздо, гораздо хуже. The aim of Kremlin mouthpieces is to spread panic, justify the war and undermine the world's attitude to Ukraine. Могут погибнуть мирные люди. Сейчас в Херсонской области ряд населенных пунктов перешел под контроль очень вежливых людей. The worst thing is that while the whole civilized world refuses to cooperate with Russia, Russian media are still broadcasting in Europe. The world must know the truth. It has only one interpretation. And Russian TV channels show the opposite. 
Особый интерес вызвала детальная информация о реализации США на территории Украины проекта по изучению переноса патогенов дикими птицами. Turn off Russian propaganda. Say no to fakes and war.